Hello and welcome, I'm Dante from Low Mana, and today we're taking a look at all the Hammond skins that have finally been added to the live servers, after several weeks on the PTR. So what are the origins of these skins, and do they have much significance to his lore? Starting with the base skins, which as always have their own theme while being relatively standard reskins, primarily just changing the colours. For Hammond, each skin, chloride, lithium and potassium are named after types of batteries, a subtle nod to his interest in engineering which makes the fourth one a little more curious. Smoke, in this context, is either a reference to vaping, which are powered by batteries, or a little joke to remind everyone to replace their batteries in their smoke alarms. Either way, these are all nice subtle skins. As we move into the rarer skins, we get a much nicer cosmetic upgrade. The biohazard skin is amazing. Lots of details, including Hammond's now being contaminated himself, as he glows green, turning the mech into a toxic waste barrel. Personally, this actually reminds me of sweets, or candy for you Americans, specifically the toxic waste sour sweets. That came in a yellow barrel with extremely sour green sweets. I hope this is the real inspiration, but it looks great either way. I do wonder if this is hinting at something else Hammond has been up to since leaving the Outback, but more than likely it's just a nice theme. On the flip side, we have the wooden skin, following the theme set by Bastion's version. As textures go, this is probably my favourite skin, giving the Wrecking Ball a nice polished feel. The four skins making up Hammond's legendary skins can be split into two areas, with a recolour of each. The first being the Horizon Lunar Colony. We all know about Horizon as the origins of Hammond and Winston, who actually has his own version of these skins. The first skin, Horizon, is the same as the vehicles we find on the base. Makes sense considering the materials he would have access to. The second is more of a scientific theme, matching what the scientists themselves would wear. Both are reflections of his origins, one as subject, and the other as a scientist himself, a gifted engineer who himself is almost as engineered as the wrecking ball he has created. The last two make up his origins as the wrecking ball, the champion of Junkertown's arena, built from the scraps of civilization just like the entire city as it sits in a strange oasis in the Australian outback. The scrapyard is the fighting pits of Junkertown, where pilots create mechs from the scrapyard itself, with whirling blades, crushing clamps, and in the case of Hammond, a pair of giant machine guns. Hammond used this not only as a means to survive, to disguise his true hamster form, but also to satisfy his desire to build and overcome obstacles teaching him everything he needs to know to survive out in the wild. Now that he's heading out to the wider world, which out of all of these probably makes this the closest appearance to canon, although from his base skin it's more than likely he's found a way to get rid of the scrapyard look, to adapt to the next environment he finds himself in, which is where the secondary version comes in, Mayhem. A bit like if you cross Punk Tracer with Junkertown, going from a rusted scrap look to an alternative look. Everything is bright, fun and in your face. As he'll often be as he swings into the enemy team. As lore goes, I don't have much to say other than it looks awesome. But I'm pretty confident this isn't what he's going to be using in the real world. On a side note though, we have no ball related skin, so I'm actually a little bit disappointed even if it would have been a bit too obvious. Perhaps they're saving that for the summer games which right now is only a few weeks away, so we might not have to wait long to see them rolling about. Still crossing my fingers for Wrecking Ball Racing though. Thanks for watching this episode of Skin Deep, as always let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode please use that like button, or downvote if you prefer. You can support the channel by subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of new content as it goes live. Until next time, I've been Dantir, thanks for watching.